up of the morning gamers this is your boy Cridson. on this video i'll be discussing to you what is secret room and an example will be for insanity flife server one of the end game pve content for any flife servers around and what does it do is where guilds actually try to challenge the bosses there the mobs and the fastest guild to complete the secret room wins the secret room actually drops rare transmutes like fashions and there's a lot of things that you need to do in order to win on this type of event let's go ahead and i'm gonna give you a sample here which is i've actually used an arcanist on this run and this has been uploaded a few months ago but i'll be explaining to you what is the secret room because there's a lot of newbie here now the secret room event is actually a guild versus guild event where you need 10 players uh, each guild or it actually depends on how many you could uh, actually run with but the best lineup should be full lineup which is 10 members here you need a tank probably two or three tanks depends on your tactics and you need adage physical damagers magical damagers and inside the secret room you can't bring any buff bang you need a seraph inside to get buffs there's actually things that you need to bring when doing secret room so when you're a physical damager you need to bring an hp swap your physical damage which is the adage build and your aoe damage swap which is usually for example the slayer increased attack attack pve strength awakes kind of a bit like that for example so and for magic bring hp swap and your magic damage for the seraph hp swap magic damage so it's either one of the tanks bring an hp swap and an adult swap and the other tank brings an hp swap only so it actually depends on your tactics with your guild the end goal for this video is just introducing to, to you what is the secret room let's go ahead and start so first of all you need to get some buff here and use all the prems usually there's a lot of prems that you need to bring don't forget the beads for your pets as well all right let's skip to the start okay so the tank is already set there and here we go so here's the thing in the secret room there's actually mobs where you can only deal damage physically or some of the mobs only receive magical damage so that's why it's important to have magical and physical um, damagers on this run so you can see let me go ahead and give you an example so the two tanks is actually luring them the physical damagers are on a skill swap so they are damaging the physical mobs by using their aoe skill all right after that the first mini boss actually spawns which is the two gula this mini boss actually receives a physical and magical so it's fine let's skip once we kill these two bosses we are now going to the second room which again physical and magical mobs so why do we have a tank here because these mobs actually hurts a lot so they deal damage a lot okay so you can see there's a one damage and those are physical mobs so what i'm actually doing here is changing elements on my weapons so here this mob is actually physical and magical so you can both hit the so ones you finish this second mini boss the third room will be filled with mobs again it's magical and physical again and this time it will give a lot of debuff which is root root is actually like holding your character in one place for how many seconds and uh, make sure you bring holy scrolls whenever you do like secret room luring it together so as you can actually see i'm dealing only one damage because again those are physical mobs that needs to be dealt with uh, adult damagers so usually they use aoe skill with again and now once all of those mobs are dealt with the third mini boss is actually a magic type boss only so you need the arcanist the seraph the mentalist to deal damage to this a mini boss it actually takes longer because again this boss is only for magic damage and now we are going to the largest room this actually has a lot of mobs here so that's why it's recommended to have two tanks sometimes three is better or four so as you can see there's four once everything has been lured we can actually you know hit and skill so there are physical again uh, physical mobs and magical mobs now after those mobs this is the towers so there are two towers that magical damage 
is needed while the tower on to the rightest part is actually only for physical that's why only magical damage is uh, on the side and if we finish those two as you can see our physical damagers are still hitting the physical tower so once they actually finish on the physical tower, it's the middle boss that will be spawning. There's actually a damage cap on mini boss and on the final boss. So that's why we're just using water ball here and does a lot of AOE skills to make sure. And it actually spawns those healing totem. So the mini boss and final boss actually heals. You need to kill those. And once you finish the middle boss, you'll spawn to the final room, which is where you can fight the final boss again there's a, a damage cap on the boss that's why we're using water ball here so you actually need to look the camera to the entrance part because the final boss actually does a laser aoe skill where it actually one hits you and it covers like full room of laser so you need to you know avoid that and there's healing totem so we need to kill those bombs so you can see once you get hit by the bombs you you die so if you die and if you wanted to respawn there's no problem as you're going to teleport to darken and go directly to the npc and once you join the secret room you'll be just showing up here on the entrance not going back to the first room going directly to the final room so that's no problem so you can see he spawned there and once finished it will announce the winner throughout the server what are the drops here actually so it's rudra we call it rudra transmute for weapons so there are two types of rudra rudra the normal one which is colored blue and the silver rudra which is more rare which is low chance of dropping so the schedules for the secret room will be available on discord okay so the npc for the secret room is on darken if your guild wins the whole week you can actually actually see it here uh let's see here um ranking history so you can actually see a lot of info here finish time damage so the fastest guild who finishes the secret room for the whole week is actually the winner or the key holder for the next week so key holder is like this as you can see on this guy and once you have that key you'll have an access to the sr shop so you can view the sr shop without having the keys but you can't buy it if you don't have the key so what's on the sr shop there's a lot of things that you could buy here the things that is available on the item all cool mounts as well there's actually a lot of mounts available here and fashions as well there's actually a lot of fashion fashions here and weapon transmute as well so yeah that's actually what you get once you win the secret room for the whole week so if you're finished farming and you're already on the end game though not yet so you can actually do the secret room with your gear Guild with your friends or join a guild who's running secret room and it's better to have a level 350 character when doing secret room so if you don't have any idea on how to max your character fast you can check this video out so yeah if you have any questions comment down below don't forget to subscribe see ya gamers